Hello everyone, welcome to the Narc Survivor YouTube channel. A different kind of topic today for this one. Talking about the fate of the Narcissus flying monkeys. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And for one on ones, just go to my website to book. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The fate of the narcissist flying monkeys. The flying monkeys are people who do the narcissist bidding. They act on the narcissist's behalf. So when you set a boundary with a narcissist, they will send in their flying monkeys to do their dirty work. They will act like they're trying to make things better for you and the narcissist. But they're actually only there to further gaslight, trick, guilt trip and manipulate you. And you can recognise that they're a flying monkey by how they side with the narcissist no matter the situation or what evidence is presented to them. They spread rumours and gossip about you. They invalidate or dismiss your feelings and they pass on information about you to help the narcissist harass you. The narcissist grooms their fly monkeys. They flip things to make people believe that they're the one who is being abused when really they are the one who is abusing you. Some fly monkeys may be narcissists as well while others may be people pleasers. So some of them may be afraid of disappointing the narcissist. They may have been manipulated or coerced so they may fear and submit to the narcissist so that they don't become a target themselves. Some fly monkeys may be in denial or they may lack the emotional intelligence or empathy to understand the harm they're causing while others may genuinely believe that the narcissist is right because they've absorbed the narcissist's perspective but many fly monkeys are likely to be suffering from some conditions or disorders themselves and this makes them more susceptible because they're more likely to submit to the narcissist if they believe that there's something in it for them such as money, power or the hope of surpassing the narcissist in the future. Many flying monkeys are likely to be suffering from anxiety which is why they may feel drawn to the narcissist's display of power and confidence while people pleasers may become flying monkeys because it provides them with a sense of meaning and purpose. The narcissist will make secret plans jointly with the flying monkeys to commit unlawful or harmful acts. They will form schemes and plans. They will work together in creating certain events or circumstances to bring about a particular negative result. They will unite, combine and join forces in secret agreement to do something bad, illegal or against your wishes. They will collaborate with their flying monkeys to do harm. Initially it starts with gossiping or backbiting where they circulate rumours and spread stories. They make reports or have conversations about your private life in a way that is unkind, disapproving or not true. They talk maliciously about you while you are not present. They say mean and spiteful things about you. They attack your character and reputation. They defame, slander, disparage and belittle you to where you're always the highlight of their conversations where they talk about something you're not doing or about something you did wrong. But they will never reveal their secret plans to your face because they're cowards, they're non-confrontational. Even when it may seem like they're confronting you, they're putting up a front. It's all an act which is why they will often pretend as though nothing is wrong because they want you to continue helping them all while they're conspiring against you. They're smiling in your face. They're acting like everything is fine and dandy 
Meanwhile, they're actually dying inside because they sense that they're losing their grip on you. But they have no choice but to hold themselves together because they want to keep you in the relationship or because they're trying to regain your attention and validation. So they have to pretend that nothing is wrong as a means to manipulate and regain control over you. Because they have a fear of abandonment, they fear losing you as a source of supply. And they also want to maintain a positive image and appear socially acceptable. So they will pretend like everything's fine. In order to uphold their reputation, avoid social consequences and to gain new sources of supply. They are strategic manipulators, so they will act like nothing has changed between you and them as a tool to gain an advantage and to achieve their goals because they sense that it aligns with their self-interest or that it helps them to achieve certain desired outcomes. It's really messed up. It even mentions in the Bible and in the Quran that spying and backbiting are grave sins and it's exactly what they've done to you. They've smeared your name. They've gossiped about you. But most of it isn't even true. And even what might have been true was blown out of proportion until you became public enemy number one. All while they were acting like everything was fine with you because you were unaware at the time. You didn't realize how much they were gossiping as making false and damaging statements about you. But this was going on for a very long time. While you were none the wiser because you weren't even aware of what was going on. But this is what they were doing to you because they were getting supply from you. But if you weren't there, they wouldn't have gotten anything until eventually they discarded you or maybe you had to cut them off and the relationship was over and the narcissist felt like they could do better. They felt like they could do the same thing to someone else. But it didn't turn out in the way that they intended. It backfired on them. It blew up in their face because now they look a lot worse than when you first met them. They look like they're decomposing. They're losing their freshness and vitality. They're gradually fading away. And they haven't got that same charm that they used to have. They look so bitter and mean. They're passive aggressive. Because they're damaged. They're carrying emotional baggage. They can't pair bond. They can't be vulnerable. They can't form a close relationship. They can't do any of that. Because they're self-absorbed and they lack empathy. And they're exploitative. And with you no longer being an active participant in their lives. They have to dump their trauma, drama and chaos onto someone else now. And they may typically unleash their wrath on the very flying monkeys that they conspired with. Which is why they're all so mad at you. Because that's what they're having to deal with now that you're no longer there to take the fall for them. You may not get to see it. But this is what always happens. The narcissist always turns on their fly monkeys. So the fly monkeys have a lot to deal with. Which is why they may have gone silent on you. Because they're dealing with chaos, confusion and violent disturbance. And it affects their work life. It enters their households. Because even their own parents may be fly monkeys. Or it could be their br brothers or sisters. It's all interlinked. It's interconnected. And this is backed up by clinical data. It affects every aspect of their lives. Especially when the narcissist starts to turn on them. Because inevitably, things fall apart for the narcissist. It results in disaster. And they have no one else to blame other than their fly monkeys. So they will blame them for everything that went wrong. They will become really bitter towards the people they made secret plans with. Once you're no longer involved in the situation and you're moving on with your life, the narcissist is arguing angrily with their flying monkeys 
They're blaming all of them. Because the narcissist is never going to take accountability. Even if they were the cause of it. And even though they was the one who brought the flying monkeys into the picture. They're not going to understand that. They're going to blame their flying monkeys. And they will experience constant arguments. Because the flying monkeys are cowards. They lack strength of character. That's how they became flying monkeys. So they're not going to do what you did. They're not going to defy, challenge, confront, oppose or resist the narcissist. And they're also not going to be resistant to the harmful effects of the narcissist. Because the narcissist is the most powerful and influential person in their group. The narcissist is like their parent. Their controller, manager, superior, headman, supervisor and master. So they cannot do what you did. They cannot overthrow the narcissist. Because they already know that they have no say in anything. They have no influence or power. They can only follow the narcissist's agenda. They can only pacify and appease the narcissist. And in a frantic attempt to bring them to a state of peace, quiet, ease, calm and contentment. But no matter what they do, it's never going to be enough to satisfy the narcissist's appetite. Because they're flying monkeys for a reason. They're not good sources of supply. They're ordinary, common, usual and typical. They're not different or special in any way. Which is why they're not going to get the special treatment that you got from the narcissist. They're not going to be love bombed. Because they're not worth the investment. The narcissist can only get fuel from you. Which is why you're the target. You're their source of supply. The flying monkeys are just scraps. They're all just small pieces of something larger. They don't have any unique significance of their own. Because they're all the same. Neither of them are the only existing one of their type. They're not unusual or special in any way. And so they will be treated as such. They will be used only to get fuel from you. You will always be the hot topic. And that is where their passionate emotions will be directed towards. Until eventually they will re-idealize you. Because it always comes back around. They will always pass you just to revisit you again later because they have to twist their story to their advantage. They have to reinterpret certain events to make it seem favorable and beneficial to themselves and their cause. So they will blame the flying monkeys for their downfall. They will blame them for the destruction of the relationship. They will tell the flying monkeys that they never should have gotten involved because although they may be unable to feel remorse, they do feel regret. They do experience a sense of loss, disappointment and dissatisfaction from when you were once in their claws. They had complete control over you and you were powerless to oppose them. Because they had you in their clutches, they had power over you. They held a superior position and they blew it. They threw it away when it was the best thing they had going for them all along. And now they've got nothing but this facade where they have to fake a smile while they're secretly dying behind closed doors. The only thing that brings them any sort of fulfillment is talking about you because you left an imprint on them. You made an impact on their lives. You aroused their interest and enthusiasm. You invigorated, energized, restored, encouraged, motivated, triggered and sparked something in them that they will never experience ever again in their lives. And that is why they're so hooked on you. They're drawn to you. They're addicted to you. They can't get enough of you because you did something that nobody else could do. You engrossed, captivated and enchanted their minds. You unknowingly placed them under a spell as a result of your unusual character. You had them hypnotized, mesmerized, 
dazzled and bewitched to where they became totally absorbed by you. Because they were held attentively by your unique power, personal charm, unusual nature and other special qualities. And that is why once they lost control of you, they smeared your name. They backbit you because you retained an influence and effect that no one else could replicate. They were fascinated by you. They couldn't stop thinking about you to the point where it became more of an obsession than just mere interest because no one else could do it like you do. There was a moment where they revered you more than their own false self to where they then saw you as a threat to their image because you revealed their fragility you revealed the frailty and the flimsiness of their mask, but then you also strengthened it at the same time. You polished their mask. You provided them with the desirable elements, qualities and characteristics to make their mask as good as it could possibly be. You brought it to perfection. You made it better. You completed them. And that is why they will never fully turn against you because they view you as an extension of themselves. So they will see it as though you had something that their fly monkeys ruined and the fly monkeys will never stand up to the narcissist. They will never question what the narcissist said about you. They will never say that they were just following orders because they know it's not their place to do that. It's not right or appropriate for them to try to fill that position or role in the narcissist's life. They know that they do not have the right to question certain choices because they understand that they do not have the authority in their role or status to do or say something. They know that it is outside the parameters of their initiative. They know that it crosses beyond the outline framework of their project. It goes beyond the original plan. They do not have the power, command and mastery to do that because they do not have compre comprehensive knowledge or skill in that particular subject or activity. They do not possess the proficiency, ability, knowledge and understanding. They do not hold a position of superiority because they are not going to outdo or surpass the narcissist in manipulating they're not going to gain any sort of advantage or handle things skillfully. Which is why all they can do is get themselves back into their desired position with the narcissist. They have to regain the narcissist trust because that is the only way they're going to gain an advantage for themselves. They are not going to be able to do what you did. But despite that, the narcissist will still still turn against them because they helped to destroy your relationship they conspired against you so the narcissist will turn against everyone who was a part of it they will turn against everyone who ruined your reputation but justice will prevail what is moral ethical and legal will always win it is just a matter of time Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comments section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor .co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.